Good evening. Welcome to Wednesday Evening Inspiration with uh, Pastor Fuller, pastor of the Mount Olive Mystery Baptist Church in Atwood, Tennessee. We are glad that you have joined us again, and we are so thankful for God to allowing us to be able to reach you over these uh, social media area. Uh, let us go to God in prayer. Eternal God, our Father, we thank you again for this day and another opportunity to share your word with your people. We thank you for every good and perfect gift that you have given unto us. We, we thank you for your salvation that you gave to us. We thank you for you giving your son Jesus that he might pay our sin debt. We just thank you, Lord, for all that you've done. We ask you to forgive us of all of our sins, all of our iniquities. Cleanse us of our unrighteousness. And Lord, make us worthy to be your children. Pray that you will bless all the duty binds us to pray for. The ones that said pray for me and those whom we said we would pray for. Now, Master, we pray that you would be with us during this time of study. And pray, Master, that you would Bless all that will hear this, that will see this. We pray that you will allow your word to minister unto them. Pray, O oh God, that if any are unsaved, that your word might convict them, that it might lead them to your son Jesus, that they may become part of your family. Father God, we just thank you for all you've done. We pray that your will be done in our lives that you will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Then, O oh God, when it's yours to call and ours to answer, we pray, O oh God, that you would receive us into your kingdom where we may spend eternity with you. This is our prayer in Christ Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you again for joining us. And again, we are still in the 119th Psalm. Uh, and we are this week dealing with what is the seventh uh, section of that psalm, um, uh, the 49th through the 56th verse. Uh, Zion, Zion uh, is the uh, topic of this, and, and uh, what we will consider, remember we're still focusing on the power of God's word. And when you need hope, and comfort to persevere. There is help. There is power in the word of God. Let us see what scriptures say. Uh, Begin at verse 49. The psalmist says, Remember the word unto thy servant, upon which thou hast caused me to hope. This is my comfort in my affliction, for thy word has quickened me. The proud have had me greatly in derision, yet have I not declined from thy law. I remember thou judgment of old, O Lord, and have comforted myself. Horror has taken hold upon me because of the wicked that forsake thy law. Thou statute have been my song in the house of my pilgrimage. I have remembered thy name, O Lord, in the night and have kept thy law. This I had because I kept thy precept. When you need hope and comfort to persevere, uh, we all find ourselves in sorrow valley from time to time. We all feel the enemy, the sting, the fiery darts are coming at us and sometimes hitting us and hurting us. Okay? We feel no comfort and we want to give up and turn back. But tonight I want to encourage you and let you know that there is power, the power of God in his word. The power of God's word, okay? When you need hope and comfort to persevere. Uh, most of us 
uh, when we pray, uh, we pray during our trials for God to deliver us. Oh, Lord, help me. Oh, God, deliver me from this uh, situation. Help me. Lord, have mercy upon me. Uh, uh, and, and certainly, I'm not trying to tell you don't do that. Because the psalmist has already said he's a very present help in a time of trouble. And he would not have, have said that to us if he did not uh, mean or intend for us that to go to God when we are in trouble. But we have to realize that sometimes God does not come to our rescue immediately. Uh, sometimes uh, God tarries, okay, uh, in, in, the, in the story of Lazarus, Mary and Martha, uh, uh, when Lazarus died, they were, uh, they felt in trouble, okay, they had lost their brother under, under, uh, uh, Jewish law, if you had no man in your family, uh, uh, you didn't have no kinsman redeemer, then you you were basically a nobody. Okay, uh, And Mary and Martha felt the sting of losing their brother. And they needed Jesus to come. I believe it was uh, um, Martha that said that if you had been here, my brother Lazarus would not have died, okay? Uh, uh, but we know that, that the narrative is that Jesus tarried when Lazarus was sick, okay? Matter of fact, he tarried until Lazarus died, and he did not get to Bethany until Lazarus had been in the grave four days, during that four-day stretch of mourning, can you imagine uh, the pain and uh, uh, the suffering uh, that Mary and Martha went through knowing that they didn't have a male to represent them? Uh, sometime God allows or he permits us to go through some of those things in order to increase our faith. If he, let me say this, a lot of our young people uh, are not maturing the way they should. That's a good way to put it. Because we have rescued them from everything. We have en enabled them to be failures uh, when they have needed to suffer through some things. Okay. Uh, God knows that if he gives us everything, if he responds to our every request immediately, we will not learn any patience, we will not learn any faith, we will not learn how to handle difficulties in life. So, so God sometimes tarries so that we can endure some trials. Uh, and some rough spots, some bumps. But I want you to know that when those times come, when you need hope and comfort to persevere, uh, there is help in the Word of God. Uh, two things we want you to ask tonight, and, and we will get out of your way. It is prayerf preferably that we will uh, air this early on uh, Wednesday, so that we can, we who are going to attend, can be at um, the, the Oban River District uh, at six o'clock. Okay. Uh, when when we find ourselves uh, in need of hope and comfort to press on, uh, we need to do two things. Okay. Ask God to remember His promises, and then stand fast against arrogant mockers and the naysayers and do not turn away from God. Look what the psalmist says. The psalmist says, remember the word unto thy servant upon which thou hast caused me to hope. Remember your word because I'm hoping in your word. Okay. 
Uh, it's not something I made up or something that somebody said. My hope is in your word. I'm, I am remembering your word, and I want you to remember uh, the words you said unto me, the promises that you made unto me that caused me to have the hope that you're going to come to my rescue. Uh, this is my comfort in my affliction. Uh, though I am going through some things, it's your word that is sustained in me. Uh, it's, it's in your word where I find hope when it seems like it's a hopeless situation. It's in your word where I find uh, the strength to go forward when I myself am weak. Okay. Uh, it's in your word, okay? Uh, this is my comfort. When I'm going through troubles and trials, when I'm going through some stuff that I have your word because your word has quickened it, me, okay? Uh, it's your word that, that calls me to bear up and to feel like some way, somehow, I'm going to make it through, okay? Uh, yes, the mountain is high, but my hope is in you. And that hope stirs the faith in me that I'll be able to climb that mountain. Yes, the valley is low and it's, 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 it's mighty, mighty low. But it's, it's, it's that hope I have in your word that gives me the faith to know that I can trudge through that valley and come out on the other end. I remember your promises, and I know your promises are sure and amen, so I'm not worried about it, amen. Then, then, uh, 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 it's your word that, that causes me to stand fast against those that come up against me, okay? It says the proud has, has greatly troubled me, uh, 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 but I haven't turned around. I have not declined from thy law. I remember thy judgment of old and have comforted myself. It's just like uh, scripture says that when, when David had gone off to, to war to help the Philistine and carried his men with him and, and, and they, uh, the Philistine didn't want him. They didn't trust uh, uh the Jews didn't trust Israel, so they sent David and his men back. But in the meantime, the enemy came and took everything, carried off their their women and children. And when they got back, they had nothing. And and they were hurt. They talked about killing David. And, and Scripture says David encouraged himself in the Lord. That's what we need to do when people are poking at us and 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 down in us and and making us feel like uh, we're on this road to heaven and the road leads to nowhere. Okay, uh, uh, we have to remember what God has done and how His people has found hope in Him, as David encouraged himself in the Lord. We need to do that also. He says, horror has taken hold upon me because of the wicked that forsake the law. Evil men uh, that care nothing about God, okay, they're wicked, okay, they cause us trouble. They don't care about our relationship with God. They don't care about us living right. They are wicked men, uh, uh, uh. But we have to stay the course and keep our hope in God. Verse 54 says, Thy statute has been my song in the house of my pilgrimage. All along, all along this pilgrimage, this journey, I keep thy word as music in my heart. Okay, uh, And I have remembered thy name, O Lord, in the night and have kept thou law. Why? Because I 
have kept thy precept. When I remember what God has promised, what God has told me to do, what he has told me, what he will do, I have no option but to keep his word, keep his precepts, to rest in him, to trust him, to know that some way, somehow, he's going to see me through this. When I trust in God, and I know now, uh, after these years on the battlefield and, and having to go through some things, God is a very present help but he doesn't always show up when we want him to. Okay. The old songwriter says uh, he don't answer prayer the way uh, we want him to. He wants us to know there's something that we must do. Uh, he waits until we've done our best, and then he steps in and he does the rest. God sometimes will tell you, and I want you to hear this. God sometimes will tell you to encourage us to have faith and trust in him. We want the Lord to be at our beckoning control. When we call, we want him to come right now. And when he does that, we never learn anything about having patience, faith, trust, and hope in him. Okay. Uh, he does it for a reason, to help us to grow. When we need hope and comfort to persevere, okay. and sometimes it 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 seems like we we just don't have the strength. The battle is lost when we need that hope and that comfort. Then there is power. The power of God's word will see us through. Okay. Trust in His word. Trust in his promises. Believe his believe and do his precepts and his commandments. Be mindful of his statutes. And I guarantee you, I promise you, that he'll show up on time. Yes. And the enemy that has trotted you down, has pushed you down, that have beat upon you, will have no recourse but to step away to leave you alone because God has promised to make them uh, your footstool. Uh, trust him. Trust him when when it seems like uh, he doesn't hear you. Trust him because he does. He has an all seeing eye. He sees it all and he knows it all. And it's not that he has forgotten about you. He's proving himself to you and teaching us how to wait patiently on him and to have the faith in him to allow our hope to stay alive in him. If you're out there, and you are going through some things, okay, uh, and it seems like uh, God's not hearing you. He is. He is. He hears you. Okay. Uh, but it's just not his time to come and rescue you. Uh, you have to uh, understand that God works on his time. Uh, I'm going to say this and then I'll be through. Ten plagues the Egyptians had to go through before Pharaoh finally said, yeah, I'll get out of here. Just leave. Take, take whatever you want and just leave. Okay. Uh, God kept hardening Pharaoh's heart so that in the end, when they did leave, they would know it was God. And even though, even though God did everything to prove himself to them, there still was some that lost hope in trusting him. Don't lose your hope. Don't lose your hope. Thou the promised land, 
waiting for you if you don't lose your hope. But as in scripture, those that lost hope in God never reach the promised land. Read the scripture, it's in there. And you'll see that when you lose hope, when you uh, uh, fail to persevere, then blessings will be lost. God bless you. Let us pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, thank you again for this time of Bible study and for sharing. And we pray, Master, now that your word going forth will accomplish its purpose, that someone will be helped, that someone might be saved. Pray, Master, that you would keep us in your care. Allow us to be your children. Father God, we just pray that your will be done in our lives. We pray, Master, that you would deliver us from this pandemic and deliver us from evil men. This we ask in your son Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. God bless you this evening. Have a good evening. We'll see you next week. Big wave.